little sister, you see my hair is toe up. I'm just getting up this morning. Oh, what a damn second video and I'm yawning like I just woke up. So, um, listen. This is how I feel about the situation. I've already told you uh, a couple of times how I feel totally about the situation. Um, I truly believe the President of the United States of America is just a figurehead. He has no more power than those constituents allow him to have. In other words, the people is not his main People is not his main um, driving influence in order to do his job. In other words, let me start this video over. Without starting the whole video over. Sometimes the shit don't work. Now, I've been watching the news and I've been wanting to comment on this video for two weeks. Since I first saw this video, I wanted to comment on it. And I watch it and I watch it and I watch it and I try to figure out. Why am I so damn sleepy? Hold on. Damn, this is looking wild. Okay, look. Now, this is what I want to tell you here. Obama is not the one to address the black issue. Period. This is just my opinion. Because I think the worst thing that the United States government could possibly ever do is give us reparations while there's a black president. Try to focus on black issues while there's a black president. See, Obama was the healing president, the uniting president, to unite the races, to bring people together in a harmonic convergence of, yes, we can. We can what? What can we? He can only do what he's told to do. And black issues is not the highest priority for him. See, like I said once before in this very same video, the last thing the United States of America needs is a black president to fix a problem created by white people. Thus, we must move on forward. See what I'm saying? The reason we have a black president is so we can move forward past the problems in the black community without actually addressing the problems in the black community. Like, ooh, there's a black president now. Get off your asses, tighten up your belts, and become somebody. But the residue left over from a century of slavery and another three centuries of just total destruction period. The white man has created around the entire planet pockets of drama. Africa, drama. Middle East, drama. Australia, who cares? But what I really want to say is because it's kind of hard for me to say because I've watched your video like three times. The first time I watch it, I'm going to say this. The second time I watch it, I'm going to say that. The third time I watch it, I have to say this. And now that I'm saying what I have to say, I can't say anything. But, quote me if you want to, because I know you will. You might even call me and clown me after I say this. White America will have a conniption fit if Obama got up and addressed any one black problem. Education. He has to address education as a whole for all the children. Health care. How can you tell if a black man is healthy or not? Look at his teeth. Because if his teeth tore up, he might look healthy, but he's not. Period. If Obama starts addressing black issues to white America, it would be like, 
I told you he was going to do that. It's just, it's once again, they just get in and do their thing. See, equality was the biggest, I did this earlier in the video. The main reason us African Americans or Americans of African descent or black people have a problem is in the 60s when we got our shot, in the 50s when we're fighting for freedom, in the 40s when we had ourselves bent over, scared to death to look at a white person, and in the 30s, you bet not look at a white person. In the 20s, you bet not even speak to a white person. And you, you know, we can go back and back and further, the further back in time, the worse it gets. So let me go ahead and fast forward to the crux of what I want to say. If Obama, a black president, looks at the situation that black people are in, and addresses any one of those things, it ruins his chances for re-election. Because like I said, it'll be like, oh look, they're doing it again. But we haven't had the opportunity to do this. They have been doing this throughout time. White man beats a black person, goes to court, goes to a jury trial, black guy found guilty of throwing his face into the man's fist and kicking himself in the head with the man's shoes goes to jail. There are laws on the books still to keep us back. As a black president of the United States, you can't go in and change things to better one group of people without pissing off another group of people, forsaking one group of people doing it to us. We need a white president to address black issues. We need some of them to step up to the plate for what their ancestors have done. And like I said, which I diverted from, the worst thing we could ever did when we were fighting for our civil rights was to ask for equal rights. Once we got equal rights, they began to treat the lesser white people just like they do black people. Therefore, creating a low income, a low range white person to be equal to the low range black person and the crust of the black people will rise up to be at the same level as the crust of the white people but yet in fact the equal rights that we get are the ones that they reserve for the lowest common denominator of their own the worst thing I always say in the world is a poor white man because a rich white man can't see a poor white man when a black man who had nothing asked for equal rights they gave him the equal rights of the poor white man. Someone in which they had put in charge of us to beat us into submission. Someone that had always was one step ahead of us or one run on a ladder better than us. They equaled us out to him. They equaled us out to their lowest common denominator. When you, you got three bills, this bill is $80, that bill is $150 and this other bill is $3,000. The bank is going to exonerate you from one bill. The bank is going to let you clear of one bill. Most likely to be the $80 bill. You'll still have to pay the $90 and the $3,000. That's how our equality came in. That's the equality. That's the equal rights we got. They treat us low as the lowest white person equally. Then, in reality, 8 minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, we don't care. We have a short attention span. We wanted equal rights, and we got equal rights. That was the biggest mistake in African American history, when we should have asked for sovereignty. At least the Indians got reservations with casinos where they can make money now. What black people got? We got equal rights. We can stand out on the corner with that dude that looks like a hillbilly with a damn big ass beard and a sign because we have the right to do that. We have equal rights to their lowest denominator. The ones they threw away, we are equal to, not greater than. We need our own life and our own selves and our own system.